If you thought today's 104 felt hot, oh, just wait. Tomorrow and Wednesday, the heat peaks. For comparison, I just want to let you know it could be worse. For instance, today was our eighth consecutive day of triple digit temperatures, our 26th so far this year, and we're sitting at seventh hottest summer to date. Compare that to last year. We had a streak of 45 consecutive days of triple digits. We made it to a total of 80. That's second most all time, second only to 2011 when we had 90 days. And it was the second hottest summer, second only to 2011. One year difference. This heat is awful, but it's not as bad as last year. Outside right now, hopefully you've had a chance to see the beautiful full blue super moon, sturgeon moon. It's nice. 87 degrees outside, heat index is 88. Across all of Central Texas, 80s currently the best times to get outside are late night or early morning. Now tomorrow, we've got heat advisories for Mason and Gillespie counties, but you know what? The rest of our area, not only tomorrow, but also Wednesday, we pump things up to an excessive heat warning. What does that mean? We're talking 105 to 109 for temperatures. You add in a few more degrees for how it will feel. We are not alone. Most of the Lone Star State in the same boat as us, a hot, steamy one. It's also an ozone action day. Air quality concerns if you have asthma or any respiratory issues tomorrow during the heat of the day. You'll want to be on the AC anyway, but if you are outdoors, you may have labored breathing. 107 is what I'm forecasting. First day of school for Austin ISD. Oh, it's going to be hot. 107 in Lana, 105 Burnett, 107 San Marcos, 105 in Elgin. These are actual air temperatures. As mentioned, it could feel even a tad hotter. Then we go to Wednesday. 107 is the record. I'm forecasting 107. And then by Thursday, 105 is the record. I'm forecasting 104. You know what else I'm forecasting? A slim chance of a shower. This little front right here may back up a little bit. I've got 10% rain chances for late Wednesday and late Thursday. Don't count on it, but any relief will help us out. By Friday and Saturday, we're closer to 100, and I've got one week from today, 99 degrees, finally breaking the heat streak.